Yo, what's up, Taste Buds? It's me, Brandon, and this is my beer. Uh, so today we have the Sierra Nevada Celebration. It is their Fresh Hop IPA. Let's get to it. So that's really good. It's uh, not the first time I've ever had this one, to be honest. Um, this is their... I guess it's their Christmas release. See, it's got like a little snowy house on it. That's how you know it's a winter beer. It's got snow. But anyway, uh, so it's pretty good. It comes out this time every year, and Don absolutely loves it. Uh, I'll have some here and there. I'm not, y'all know, I'm not a huge IPA fan, uh, but it, it's not a really heavy IPA. It's an easy drinker. Uh, I guess in that genre or whatever. It's pretty good. But the, <coughs> would you hush? Hush. <coughs> but anyway, so this episode we're, <coughs> what? <coughs> I, I, I know Red, but I'm in the middle of something. <coughs> but I, I know there's dogs out there that want to eat too, but they, they, they don't have YouTube accounts. Yes, I, I, I didn't make mommy something the other week. Yes, I know it's your birthday coming up. All right, we'll make something for you. What do you want, buds? You want Kent Rollins' dog biscuit cook? Okay, well, give me the video. Oh, you already have the video. So Red already has the video of Kent Rollins, Cowboy Kent Rollins' dog biscuit. Uh, if you remember, there was another episode a little while back that we did one of his um, base recipes for something. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Uh, Mr. Impatient, I'm getting there. I've got to set it up to play. Apparently, I'm talking too much, and we need to get to the video so we can hurry up and... Get to the cup. Just fix something for us. So folks, in this episode, what are we gonna do? We're gonna fix some Beagle Biscuits. I'm talking dog biscuits, so easy, so good. All you pups be gathered around for a long time. But the great thing about this is you can cook them in the house, in the oven. You ain't gotta do it out here in the Dutch oven. Putting this on the carpet, scooting. Scooting a butter cross, sir. I think it's what, called, what they call expressing their kind of a ball to where we can get our hands on it and we'll go to town and go to making dough and beagle biscuits. Whew. Don't take much to it. You don't, and the beagle could eat all that right there by itself, but we're going to roll them out to a half inch thick. Now, if you're doing this in the oven, go ahead and preheat the pre -teeth. Pre -heat that oven to 375 degrees. And you can see this is pretty dry dough. You want to just sort of work it where it doesn't ever stick to your fingers and then add a little more flour to it. This recipe is named after you. You get the first one. Okay, Duker, you rank in seniority. He'll have to take his over yonder somewhere and dissect it or something. Mates, there's a little football for you. And here you go, Sadie Lou. There we go. Do I get any tail wags for appreciation? None whatsoever, huh? Uh, too busy. Well, me and the mage and all the pups. Get out of there, not yet, mage. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And folks, as always, we tip our hat to all our service men and women and all the veterans who have kept this thing going forever and that flag of flying there in freedom. But also, I want you to know the Big, the Duke, the Major, and the Sadie. They're all rescues. Now, folks, if you've got time, hey, go buy that shelter in your area because I'm sure they got something that you need to take home. And to me, there's nothing more loyal and more thankful then you're going in there and saving somebody's life. This pup right here can't be that far from Shan. He is probably one of the greatest things ever, but they're gonna bring you so many hours of enjoyment. And hey, four-legged fur angels is what I call them. So be sure and check that shelter out. For the rest of you, get on in here, get your puppies close, let's give them a hug. God bless you each and every one. So there it is. Actually looks like a relatively simple uh, process, cook, 
Is it a cook? It's actually a bake. I don't bake. All right, so we're gonna see how this goes. But anyway, if you didn't put two and two together, it kind of works out that we are having the celebration as we have a celebration of my guy turning 10. So we're about to get to the cook. Once everything goes into the oven, I got a little surprise for you while that cooks. And then after it all, there's more goodness. But anyway, let's go see if I know how to bake. Hold my beer. Spatula. I'm supposed to be whisking it. You don't. You can't whisk in flour. It literally says whisk in flour. Gradually stir in the flour. Oh. Okay. All right, mommy's gonna steal your cookies. Mush it real good. You're gonna have to 
have some kind of disclaimer that I suck at baking? No. Okay. Uh, ago this little guy was born and this is us bringing him home uh, this is his favorite spot in my arms facing that way uh, first time he ever went out to the snow and as you'll see it's a it's a pain to get him out of the snow most times uh, when I had one of my surgeries that year he laid and helped me get back and now he is the proud big brother of his chicken sisters he's actually been to a couple of games uh, we'll always have to stay outside and watch him obviously but his favorite spot is curled up, quote unquote, watching. Loves going to Swamp Rabbit games up here in Greenville. He's been to quite a few and don't actually custom made him that jersey because uh, they didn't sell them, but now they do. He prefers baseball games though, and we have gone to quite a few and he will sit there and watch the entire, okay, maybe not the entire game. Uh, even loved going out there when I was playing a couple years back, but he is also an athlete himself doing the mutt strut and then a few years ago, we did the Ultimate. Uh, these are pictures from the very first ever Ultimate Championship or Ultimate Race, not Championship, um, which we not only completed, but we are the first ever original winners. We, he is the original OG winner of the Ultimate. Uh, he's actually been on TV, and I look thrilled to be there as well. I mean, look at this guy checking himself out. He has his own photo shoots, obviously, and the photographer even uses his photo for displays. He helps around the house, although he is a movie star now, and now that we have our little farm, he, he has to get his overalls on. In the office, he is the 47-time reigning employee of the month. As you can see, always has a smile on his face because he is always happy to go everywhere. He actually enjoys baths. Uh, he hates being stinky. Uh, and then again, when there is snow on the ground, he is ready to go. There's a lot of times he will actually leave us and go make his own friends and he knows how to stay on the good boy list. And then just some of our other favorite pictures of him. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll show some videos of him being a goofball. And now, the moment of truth. Oh, it's not for me. Now you guys stay here and eat it.
apparently I am a good baker. There's just <laughs> he done. He got his treaties out of here. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Stay for after this. There's some extra stuffs. I'm gonna hand me my beer. Are you so happy? Hey, are you so happy? You got your own stairs. What is it? What is it? What's so scary? Huh? What's so scary? What? What?